In this video, we'll be finding the rule on a coordinate grid. Now, you have experience using coordinate grids to graph pictures or just to plot points. And if you remember, when we plot points, we usually see them written just like this, x, y. Remember, x always comes first and then y. So in this graph here, the x-axis goes from left to right, and the y-axis goes up and down. So again, we have x, y, and just remember y to the sky. So to plot these points, we're going to do x first, so 3, 4. So x is 3, y is 4. If we look here at this first point, we've got 3, 4. So over 3, up 4. This is our first point that we just wrote on our graph here, or on our table. So now we're, we're looking for a rule. So we want to make a chart of all the xy coordinates. So we're going to keep going. Our next plot here is 5, 6. So up 5 over 6. So our next point is x is 5, y is 6. And we're going to start looking for patterns. That's the key here is we want to look for patterns between our points. So I can kind of start to see a pattern, but let's do one more point just to check. I'm going to skip up to this top point up here. So it's over 9 and up 10. So our, our point here would be written as 9, 10. Now look and see if you can find a pattern in this XY chart. So we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. Now remember that 9, 10, for example, would be written just like this when you're used to plotting your points. So I can tell now that y is 1 bigger than x. So we would write this as y equals x plus 1. We can go back and plug in any of these points into this equation, and it will equal y equals x plus 1. So let's try it with 5 and 6. 5 plus 1 equals 6. And again, we can try it with our last point, or our last plot. 9 plus 1 equals 10. All right, we're going to go into another example. Miss Cater did an awesome job of showing you guys how to take your points, put them into the XY chart, and then look at the pattern. So we're going to show another example of that. So point 1 here is at over 2, up 2. So we're just going to write 2, 2. Okay, point 2, looking at it, we're going over 3, up 3. Next one, we are going over 4, up 4. And it, some of you are probably starting to see the pattern now. We'll plot the last one over 5, up 5, and put it into our chart. You guys remember that x is going left to right and y is going up and down. So that's how we know which number to put on which side of our table here. Yep, always over, then up. So the first one and then the second one in our chart. So looking at our pattern here, it's looking like the x number is the same as the y number. So this is really easy to write. The rule is going to be x equals y. And it could also be y equals x. And to check, we're just going to look at these points and put them back into the equation. Does 2 equal 2? Yes. Does 3 equal 3? Yes. So we know that the equation we chose is true. x equals y. So in order to find the rule, you got to put it on the xy chart. Now remember to write that down, children. All right, here is your first homework question. You're going to go ahead and try one. So make sure that you follow the steps of looking at your points and taking those points and putting them into your chart. And then from there, you're going to look at the chart to see which one of these rules matches the chart. And you're going to enter your answer online. For this example, we're going to be looking for rules again. And we're going to use our coordinate grid. So we want to plot our points. So first, we're going to look at our graph fill in our table. Our first point here is 4, 2. Remember, x-axis across the bottom, y-axis goes up and down. Our next point is 6, 3. And then our next point is 8, 4. 8 is our x, y is, or 4 is our y. And finally, 10, 5. 
So now we're going to look for a pattern. A lot of you right off the bat are going to try and do addition and subtraction. You're going to think x plus what equals y, or, y or x minus what equals y. Well, in this case, addition and subtraction is not going to work because 4 minus 2 equals 2, but then 6 minus 2 does not equal 3. So we're going to look in terms of multiplication and division. Whenever you get stuck, I want to encourage you, and Mrs. Skatsum encourages you too, to make sure that you are using and looking for multiplication and division when you're looking for rules. So let's think about this. I can tell right now that y is 1 half of x. So I could do write my rule as x divide, or divided by 2 equals y. So let's try and plug in a point here. Let's do 8 and 4. So when x is 8, I'm going to fill in the rest of my equation, and y is 4, so we're looking at this point right here, x is 8, y is 4, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Yes, it does. Let's try it with another one. Let's do our equation again. So we got x divided by 2 equals y. So then I can plug in another point. Let's do 6 and 3. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Yes, that works. So our equation can be written as x divided by 2 equals y. Okay, here is homework question two. So just like before, you're going to take your points, um, look at what the coordinates are, put it into your xy chart, and then pick a rule that you think matches the chart. For this problem, we're going to kind of go the opposite way. We're going to look at our choices, and we're going to see if any of these rules match our coordinate points or our ordered pairs. So our first thing is always, always, always to make an xy chart. Take our points and put them into a chart. So our first point is 2, 3. Our next point is 4, 4. Our next point is 6, 5. And our last point is 8, 6. Some of you are going to see the rule right away, but it doesn't hurt to go over to our answer choices and do process of elimination. So right away I'm going to find I'm going to find the one that definitely if there's one that sticks out that is a definite wrong answer, I'm going to get rid of it. And I can see that D is a definite wrong answer. That's telling me that y equals x equals 2. So it's basically saying that all of these points over on our xy chart have to be 2s. And looking at those, we know that's not true. So I'm going to get rid of D right away. That leaves me with three more choices. So I'm going to test my points for each choice. So looking here, we have, the first one is y equals 4x. So let's try that for 2, 3. So 3 is y, and then 4 times our x, and our x is a 2. So does 3 equal 4 times 2, which is 8? No, so so far this rule isn't working. You are going to want to then go test it for all three points to be sure that that's not the rule. Um, I'm going to tell you now that if we went through and tested all three of these other points, this would not be our rule. So we're going to cross that out. So now we're between the last two points. So I'm going to clear some room and we're going to test those. Okay, our next rule is y equals 3x minus 2. So let's test it with 8, 6. 6 is our y, and that's going to equal 3 times x. x is 8. And then don't forget our minus 2. So we have 6 on the left side, and we have 22 on the right side. Does 6 equal 22? No. So, so far this rule isn't working. Again, though, you would want to go back and check it for 6, 5. You'd want to check it for 4, 4. And you'd want to check it for 2, 3 just to be sure. I'm going to tell you now that if I were to go check all of those coordinate points, this would not be our rule. So we're going to check the very last rule. Okay, so our last rule is y equals half of x plus 2. So let's plug in some points. Let's try it for 4, 4. So I'm going to put 4 in for y, and that's going to need to equal half of... 4 plus 2. So 4 equals, what is half of 4? Half times 4 would be 2. Half of 4 is 2. 
and 2 plus 2 on the right side now. So does 4 equal 4? Yes! So now we're going to go and test it with a few more points. Like I said, you'd want to test it for 2, 3, 6, 5, and 8, 6. Let's test it for 2, 3. So if 3 was y, that would need to equal 1 half of 2 plus 2. So does 3 equal half of 2, which is 1, plus 2? Does 3 equal 3? Yes, 3 equals 3. So now we've tested it for two sets of points, and this is in fact going to be the correct answer. So as you can see here, the process we went through was getting rid of all the wrong choices and then checking the right choice with all of our coordinate points to make sure it is the right one. Here is homework question number three. So your job again is to take your coordinate points, put them into an XY chart, and then just like I did on the last problem, you're going to get rid of all the wrong answers to finally get to the right answer. And here is question number four on your homework. Make sure again to make your XY chart and then do process of elimination with all your answers to get to the correct rule. Thank you for doing your homework tonight and we will see you tomorrow.